So guys, today we're going to be revisiting the iPhone SE 2020. I put this in my top five best phones of $450. And um, yeah, guys, so I really like the phone and there was, it was kind of split. There was a lot of people who wanted to see a refresh. There was a lot of people who really hated the phone, thought it was just a really bad pick. This is actually a phone that I really like because it's extremely cheap. You can find it for around $100, you know, $10 in good condition, probably a close to $150 in like excellent condition and um, yeah it's just a really really uh, good phone so it has kind of some unique things about it that I personally really like I kind of like to recommend this phone to people who use Android who you know just want to get into an iPhone very low investment and what's interesting about this phone is that you know a lot of people poke at the design that is outdated and it is indeed outdated it is a very outdated design but you gotta remember the iPhone SE 3 uh, that Apple released is still doing pretty well because Apple's going to release also another, um, you know, another SE. I don't think it's going to have the same design, but this phone it lasted way longer than the iPhone Mini series, which a lot of people weren't buying. So that means there are there is an audience of people who are buying this because this is going on three generations. The Mini iPhone did not make it. It was only the 12 and the 13. They discontinued it. But for some reason, people really like you know this form factor it's because one it's got this really small display and I'm currently putting iOS 17 on here I was trying to avoid it but it keeps popping up alright so one of the things about the the SE that I think a lot of people really like is that it does have a very small display and I think people like that it's extremely small it's a 4.7 inch display uh, it's really small by today's standards uh, so I, I um, a compact phone today would be like 5.8, 5.9 inches. This is 4.7. It's very easy to use. And the display itself, looking at it, it's still a decent display. Um, of course, it's not, you know, an AMOLED or anything like that, OLED. It's just an Retina IPS display. It has a pretty high PPI, though. Uh, the PPI is 326 on here. And it's still a pretty sharp display as well. It's not super bright outdoors um, as well, you know, just taking it out. But indoors and overall like the reachability for anybody who hates big phones and like small phones uh, this thing is you know it's very unique uh, these days to have such a small phone at 4.7 inches and the resolution it's only a you know 720p display pretty much and it has these big chunky bezels and stuff like that but I think there is a you know an audience out there or a, you know a demographic that really likes the very small display size and it's probably it could, it could be you know probably older people and stuff like that who just really like the the old school iPhone design with the touch ID and you might just really like that home button now gaming on this device is still really really good um, it still can play PUBG at HDR extreme and it's just a beast in performance so just being in and out of iOS um, whether you're playing Call of Duty or PUBG or whatever, it can still pretty much play anything in the app store. It's very impressive. You're not going to find any phone for $115 that's going to give you this type of performance pretty much. Um, so, like I said, the chipset on here is still very, very impressive. Now, the only thing about gaming on a phone like this is, depending on your preference, the, you know, again, the screen is small. And, um, of course, the battery life is not going to be as good since it's a really small phone. Battery life isn't that great. Um, but, yeah, so it's just, a, it's just a, a really good experience. So I don't have really anything negative to say about the overall CPU or the gaming performance because it is very fast. And, like I said, you really won't find a, you know, a cheap phone like this that's going to give you this type of perform performance, again, for like $100, $115, $120. Bucks. Um, so yeah, very impressed with the overall spec. Now the speakers on the SE are, you know, okay. You know, the speakers aren't like crazy loud, but you know, they're stereo speakers. They do sound decent. Uh, there is a little bit of distortion at like max volume, but overall, I didn't think they don't sound like terrible. Yeah, they just sound okay. Now let's go ahead and talk about the cameras. So 
the cameras on here are actually still pretty good the only thing about this camera is that it's only one camera so it is a 12 megapixel standard and it shoots in 4k 60 and it does have a 7 megapixel self selfie that shoots in uh, 1080 and then it goes all the way up to 120 frames and uh, the image quality like I said is still pretty good on this phone um, I was not disappointed at all with the image quality um, I think it's you know like a lot of older flagships if you take it out of good lighting it'll you'll kind of get like a uh, a softer image but man I was not like not impressed with the image quality and I think this phone takes way better video than a ton of budget phones um, so yeah so that's one thing I, I really like the video quality is still really really good on here um, but yeah the photos came out pretty clean um, you know if you're in good lighting you get a good amount of detail um, yeah there could be some um, you know some white balance issues and stuff like that from time to time uh, selfies come out pretty clean as well too for the most part um, yeah I just I, I like the cameras on here I don't think they're I don't think that these are terrible cameras by any means. Um, so this still takes really good photos if you're in good lighting. And I think video is also uh, actually really good on here. Probably the worst thing about the SE is going to be battery life. This is a phone that you 100% are going to have to charge. Um, it's, you're going to have to buy a charging case with it for sure. And um, yeah, it's got a you know pretty small battery at 2,118 milliamps. 20 watt charging it does actually does have wireless charging as well too which is really nice uh, so you can go ahead and do that um, but yeah battery life you can expect like four hours of screen on time pretty much it doesn't matter if you're gaming or not gaming um, this is a phone that you're gonna have to charge for sure so overall like I said I really like this phone for a hundred and you know fifteen dollars hundred twenty dollars thirty depending on the condition it's a really good phone. I actually really like it. A lot of people don't like it. Um, but yeah, let me know. Do you like the SE or do you hate it? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.